my fiance has been accusing me of cheating on him and I haven't cheated on him. In the beginning of our relationship, we were just, you know, talking and, you know, he was talking to other people. So I just felt like, okay, I can just do what I want to. So I did sleep with somebody. Ever since then, he just holds that over my head. He won't let it go and he accuses me so much. He won't let me go. I used to have a good career. I was working at a correctional facility and I was making really good money. I was making like the most money that I ever made before. Kevin accused me of sleeping with other correctional officers and inmates. And then I would have to leave a prison to go home to another prison. I would be like scared. He would check my body. He would keep me in the house. I couldn't go anywhere. When I tried to tell him that I'm not cheating on him, I cry and I try to show him, look, you can look through my phone. You can go through my Facebook. I don't care what you do, but just, I mean, just try to believe me, have faith in me. This has been extremely hard. We have a child together and he doesn't think that she's his. He says that she's nothing like him. She doesn't look like him. It just hurts me. You know, she needs the love from both parents and I feel like sometimes he just doesn't care about her. I have done everything to try to prove to him that I have been faithful and good to him. I have quit my job, so I'm here to take a polygraph test to prove to him that I have been faithful to him. I want to make sure I have everything clear with him so that we can start off new. We can have a better future for our family and we can actually be a family and won't have to argue and fuss about stuff like this anymore. I have trust issues with Rebecca based off of those facts that she cheated on me and it took her so long to actually even tell me. You know, that it was over a year. Just listening to her on the tape, she said it, it was in the beginning and that you were doing your own thing. She said since you're doing your own thing, she's doing her own thing. Couldn't that be the case here? It could be, but it would really be because I. I had started noticing that she had people texting her, and this was in the beginning of the relationship. Right. I never checked her phone. I never actually kept her in the house whenever she wanted to go out and do whatever she wanted to do. She said, and it was, it was really sad when she said it, she felt so bad and trapped by you because of the allegations of cheating that she worked in a prison. She would leave one prison to go to another one, meaning her own home, she felt like she was in prison. I I, when you hear her say that and she's crying when she says it, does that affect you at all? It did. The way how I was actually treating her at the time, which is, was I was accusing her all the time. I, I, I admit that I was wrong. But when you overstep your boundaries with our trust. You suppose they have recordings, right, of her? I did have recordings. Like when she, she went to work? It was, I, I saw her in like sexual noises in the background and uh, I told her about it. How did you record her? Like, it, it, after I saw her and I told her about it, she didn't believe me. I actually started recording What it. noises were you hearing? It was sexual noises. And she's and, having sex while she's no, picking I, up the I, phone? I, that's not what I would want to believe. She was just telling me that maybe the phones was actually messed up because that's it, that old, old phone. But I mean, not. if anybody's having sex with somebody and their partner calls, would you answer that phone call? I want, but I mean, that was, I was out of curiosity. You know, this is something that I, I would want to have a life-term relationship with. So of course that. I would want to know. I, want, I wouldn't want to ignore it. But it seems like she wants to have a life-term relationship with you. I mean, it's a lot of people that are saying that way, but don't actually act it. So you think that she's just fooling you? No, I, I don't, but at the same time, I want to be sure. No. She says that you accuse her of sleeping with inmates. It, I, I said I was actually joking with her on that part, but I said maybe it was somebody that she was actually interested in that was a CO. Oh, another corrections right. officer. So you, she might be having sex with another... Maybe, or it's, uh, it's something that was going on. For them noises right there, if, if I had the, the phone recording, you would think different. A lot of you all would. She said she had to give up her job for you. She didn't have to. She said to. she was making good money. She didn't have to because I didn't make her quit. She felt the need to quit, though. 
I mean, that was her choice. I, I never. Well, is it much of a choice that if she doesn't quit, their relationship's going to go down the tubes? That she still have a choice. Well, you're not being very fair, are you? No. No. You accuse me of cheating on you all the time. You're lying to him. You're seeing him lying. I quit plenty of jobs, not just one job. It hurts me. You, you treat our little baby wrong. You don't act like a father to her. She needs both of us. It hurts me really bad. I, I didn't want to come here. I come here to prove everything to you, to prove that I am being faithful to you. I'm not doing anything wrong. I, the only thing I can't do is apologize for the way I have reacted in the past. You deny our baby all the time. Well, I mean, when when she when doesn't deserve that. She doesn't. She, I mean, so many people. She looks like you. She, she looks like both of us. What do you expect a baby to look like? Look at her. She's beautiful. I know I've done wrong in the past, but I just. I, I have proved that to you. I've, I've admitted what exactly it to did you. What did you do wrong? I mean, he it wasn't really wrong. We was just now dating, like, in the beginning. It was the beginning. But like, well, what we, did you do wrong? I had slept with somebody in the beginning of our relationship. Okay. And, I mean, but he doesn't see anything wrong with him sexting people. That's not cheating. Is that cheating? Yeah. When I had started working as a correctional officer, why do you uh, think it, was, it started then? I, I guess he just had this vibe, and he called me, and, like, he would call me all the time at work, and I had people like, are you okay? Because he keeps calling like something's wrong. I'm like, no, nothing's wrong. That's all the time. And it's just, I'm, I'm so tired of now, getting phone calls. Now, you that job, and you said it was a good job, right? It, it was a great job. It was, like, the best job I've ever had. And why did you quit? Because of him. And he doesn't, he's like, You said oh, you had a choice, he, though. Yeah. My choice was either to leave my job and stay with him, or I wouldn't have a family, and he would probably tell people stuff that I was doing things. So not much of a choice. I, I didn't have a choice. Why do you stay? I care about him. I don't... How about the fact that you're a little baby girl? He denies, he thinks that's somebody else's kid. You know whose kid he thinks that is? Who's? Everybody's. <laughs> <laughs> and why would you quit a great job? And you said in your own words, it's a great it's, job. I mean, it's the constant pop-ups, the constant phone calls. How are you going to get any work done if you're yeah, on the Yeah, my wife's always calling me while I'm doing the show. And I have to be like, <laughs> stop calling me. See, like, she'll tap at me while I'm doing the show. All right. She's always, like, <laughs> trying to give me stuff. Well, at least it's good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin, you took a lie detector test, right? We asked you, during your relationship with Rebecca, have you had sexual contact with any other females? You answered no. During your relationship with Rebecca, have you had sexual intercourse with any other females? You answered no. The results came back the same to each question, and it came back that Kevin told the truth. Uh, the little girl, beautiful little girl, by the way, one of the cutest kids we've ever Thank you. I've seen on the show. Thank you. Uh, Kevin, you took a DNA test, and the results of that DNA test is that you are the father of. I told you. Okay. All right, Rebecca, you took a lie detector test, and we asked you, other than in the beginning, during your relationship with Kevin, have you had sexual contact with any other males? You answered no. Besides the one, f one male in the beginning, during your relationship with Kevin, have you had sexual intercourse with any other males? You answered no. The results came back the same to each question, and they came back that you, Rebecca, told the truth. I told you. Why, why would I, I cheat on you? It had to take all of this just for you to get the proof.
And now that you have it, you need to change. You need to do better. And, 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 and that's... <laughs> And you just hit the nail on the head. And when you go home, if it doesn't change, then you have to make the tough decision. You know, either you're gonna live with it and be unhappy, or say, I can't live with it. I can't, I, I, I have to be happy. Well, and if you really love her, you'll have trust in her. But like I said, if, the, if, if you go back to the same old thing, then you'll have to make a decision. You're right, Steve. Good luck to you. Thank you. Hope it works out. Click here to watch more Wilco's. Click here to subscribe and get a front row seat for all the action. Can you relate to this story? Go to www.stewilcos.com to get my help.